Christian with Ace Appliance out of Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. Today we're going to be working on a Kenmore electric dryer. The customer's complaint is uh, it's taking too long to dry the clothes on certain settings, um, even sometimes on the time dry. So first thing we want to do is I check the airflow. The airflow is fine. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the unit. The tools you would need to diagnose this appliance is a flat blade screwdriver, a multimeter, a number two Phillips drill bit or a screwdriver. Next thing I'm going to do is open this bottom panel to get down to the heating components. There are three quarter inch screws that hold the panel on at the bottom. I want to go ahead and remove them. This only has two in Once you remove the screws, you can just slide the panel off. Next thing I want to do to get to the heating components is remove this um, lint filter housing. There's two quarter inch screws, one on the left side, or there's three, one on the left, two on the left side, and one on the right side. Once you've removed those, make sure you remove the lint filter or else you will not be able to remove this, which I already removed the lint filter. So you can just go ahead and tilt this towards you, pull it out, just like that, set it to the side. Using a multimeter set and continuity, I'm going to check everything in the heating circuit. When you check components, you do have to disconnect at least one of the wires. Thermal fuse is good. Heating element is good. Cycling thermostat is good. And the high limit thermostat is good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back on and let it run for a little bit to see how the heating element is cycling. So now we're reinstalling the back panel here. We've diagnosed this dryer as it needs a new control board. Uh, the heater relay is not sending any power down to the heating element. Everything in the heating circuit has ohmed out correctly. So this unit is diagnosed as it needs a new main control board. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.